Change my thing again. All right, these blocks need to be the poster child of bad block. All of them have been like this, very bad, not good at all. So <clears throat> we are going to fix them. We are going to put a ruler there to there. And we're going to give them a cut. And believe you me, these blocks need to be the poster child of bad blocks. Every one of them. Because they have not been that great of a block. They all look horrible. All right, now flip it over this way. And I'm going to go up this way. I don't want to cut the end. see how better it looks on this side now. whole lot better. I still got some right here that don't that I don't like because I may end up getting that corner right there and not getting it and leaving a hole there. There it goes. All right, so now that we got this to where we can sew it down to the rest, let's see what we're going to do in the bedroom. All right, I have a pin on this side, so I know which side to put it on, and it will be this side here. I take the pin out now. I'm going to turn it over. And lay it down. Now we want our seams to nestle. And if you look at this right here, I got a big spot right here. Let me see if I can't get it up there to show it to you. See here, this material that's sticking out there. These are bad blocks. I mean, I did a horrible job. But I'm still going to continue. Now it don't matter which way. I'm going to worry about these seams, but I do want to try to get them to match. So, I'm going to put one in here, and I am just looking for the seams to match. We're all, they're all on bias anyway, so we can manipulate how we want them to go. Buddy, I found him another basket over the other. We want to try to get it as close as we can, though. He's just sleeping up a storm. All right, now with this one, let's see. See how we have a gap right in here, and I uh, don't line up. But we're gonna we're gonna fix that. So far, it's the only one that did not want that doesn't want to go 
where it should go. Either way that these right here go. Alright. Now let's go back in there to the sewing and I'll show you what we're going to do with it. Alright. Now let's see what we can do. <clears throat> about getting these. <clears throat> we want to make sure the top is going right, which it is kind of not. I don't know if you can see it or not. we got a little bubble right here in the top. I hope you can see it. So we're going to start it off at the top anyway. Now, I'm going to make me a couple of stitches. And then I'm going to straighten out my blanket here. Straighten it all out because I might as well do it all at one time. Alright, now I'm going to take this one since it's on the bias. And I'm going to put my finger here. And I'm going to go ahead and sew it up and let the feed dog do its job. Now I'm right here at the pin and we'll take it out I want to go right on where my seam is right there I'm on my seam now this one right here is okay I don't have to worry about it so we can go on with it and it don't matter which way these go because it's so messed up on the other you know on all the blocks are all messed up so you know do the best you can do Alright, let's work on passing this. Is this one right here lined up? Yeah, this one right here is pretty good. We ain't really ain't got to worry about it. Let's go on with it. Straighten up. This, this, this one right here is a little bit... Right, we're going to put a finger right here on a pin. Take a pin out. And we're going to sew down to this... See, stop. All right, now we're going to take this one, and we're going to sew it all the way down to the seam. Let I pull in it just a little bit to make it go where I want it to go. All right, we're still doing pretty good there. Now we're going to go past this one. This one's okay. We're going to let it go. Most of them were okay. Let's see, this one here is okay too. Let's see if I can't get that one underneath there. Just a little bit. It's different. This one's okay. on down okay this one's okay it's going good okay put a finger there now getting these two even down here All working out. Alright, now what we'll do is we'll go in there. Then I'll lay it out and let you look at it. And then that way you can see it better. Alright, here's this one. This one. This one's a little bit off. But if we go on down... This one here is a little bit off, but really they don't matter that much. This right here is where my problem comes in. Got to make sure I miss that. It's them, the, uh, strips. Some of them were not cut straight. They were cut in a corner like in the middle of it. So I had to play with it. I wished I'd have showed you 
now that I got this problem here, I am not complaining about the strips. Please don't take me wrong. It it wasn't you wasn't your nothing to do with you. It was the company that cut the strips. And I wished I would have showed you. Next time that happens, I'm going to show you. But so far, this is what we got. We're halfway through it. We have three more to put on. I don't know if I'm going to put them on tonight or not. I did have a problem with this right here. So I took it apart. And I said, when I get to it, I will fix it. But other than that, I took them apart and took them in there individually and sewed them down because it was so much easier for me. And then the last one, I kept sewed together so that uh, I could keep them together. And this is my next one, and I have to fix it the same old way that I did that one, and I did all the rest of those. All right, so now you know what you have to do when you get bad blocks. If I know that was so bad, I'd have done some trimming before, but I didn't think that it would have been that bad. Not all my strips were crook-eyed, but some of them was. And I wished I'd have thought, hey, I need to tri uh, trim these down to a certain size before I start but no I only took one block in there and I went by that one block and I said this is what I'm cutting out and of course as you can tell it lines up really good with this one but it wouldn't with that one and you should be able to get eight blocks out of each of those strips that we made but hey look this is turning out beautiful. I am liking the colors of it and all. Um, oh, I didn't even notice that. See, I got that one and that one. That one and, and it should have been the same color as that one. Oh, well. I'm not going to cry about it. It's going to be pretty no matter what. But I just noticed that. All right. Okay, now that we got it done, we want to lay it out on it and get it about as close as we can, some on this side and some on this side. Now this side will be good and this side, but these two sides are not. We need to put something with it to make it bigger so we can put the batting in it. And Right here, let me get this right here a little bit further down so we can have a good look at it. Right here, it's not level. We need about, say, five or six inches on this side and that side. I think five inches would work on this side and that side on the bottom one so we will have enough to have a... Um, backing on it. Alright, so let's go take care of that. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, we got 10 inches from. Kind of like get that one even. Turn it around, we're going to get this one even. No. Ah. Why are you doing this? Urgh. Okay. Now, what do we have now? Probably nine. Ah, we got nine and a half. <laughs> okay. Let's slow this right here, up right here, and we're going to go five, one, two, three, four, five, so we're going to cut this one down, 
65. Oh, come on. Don't do Keep on doing this. Alright, I'm getting rid of that one. I'm going to keep that one. Now, let's start here. Ain't. Now we got this one. And I don't know if I need two or just one. This right here is from salvage to salvage. Yeah, I'm going to have to have, have three of them. Because this right here is not going to be enough. See how much I got. So I'll have to have three of them. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Now, let's see, this one right here would be from, you know, I need salvage to salvage. Alright, so there we go, our salvage to salvage. No, can't go salvage to salvage because I, I don't have salvage on this one. But, anyway, let's see what we can do about cutting it down. I just changed them last week, so it can't be that dull because I ain't been doing that much. Alright, one, two, three, four, five. Alright, there's two. I'm gonna go ahead and cut another one. So we'll have it. I don't know, that right there may be longer. Alright. One. Oh. Get level again. One, two, three, four, five. Do what? That was weird. What? It was a restricted number they asked me for the David. Huh. I don't know, David. I don't know either. Alright, let's see. Sure David here. Alright, now if we need any more, we can get off this right here piece. And then we got two that's longer. So, let's see what we have to do. Pick two sides, any side will do. I like this side because it has this on it. It will bring it uh, more into it. Let's see what we can do about sewing it down now. Be good if we cut uh, some of it down. Come on. Wait just a minute. Yeah. Something's wrong. Oh no, 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 no. This one I hear is on the outside. And this one is not. Boy, I tell you what, there's some crap going on in my life. I can't tell you. But it has really got me and my sister all messed up. I gotta fix that. Look, this one here is on the outside, that one's on the inside. Yeah, this one down here is on the inside. Yeah, I know. 
I'm, I'm about ready to have to quit sewing for a little while. Because it it's driving me crazy. Alright, here we are back at it again. And we're just going to take this one and lay it back on top of it and make sure that we have some on each end. And we got some right here in the middle. And I think it works right here is going to work out good. Then we've got plenty of it. Go all the way around. Now we've got to get the batting in the middle of it. Alright, so we're going to take this up. We'll make sure this right here is laid out straight. Get this right here over. Now we got the batting. Oh, come on. Alright, now, some of this is going to be really tricky. I'm going to try to get this right here laid out flat, flatter. I don't want those bubbles in the middle of it. Like so, i got it level up here, which will be fine. Alright, now we're going to take this one, and we're going to lay it right on top of it. Now we can see through here on what we have here. Yeah. Hang on, I'm coming. She's needing. All right, let's see if we can't work on this quilt and try to get it kind of squared up so that we can put it together. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. And I think that right there works pretty good. I really do. I think that works out nice. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make uh, we're going to get some cuts going on here and get rid of this batting here. Um, strings. Okay, I'm going to have to iron this. And this is the only iron, small iron I have. I don't have the Another one. I got some in the shed, but I don't have any here. But we need to iron it. Iron so it. We yeah. get the, all the bubbles out of it.
think it's cooled down enough. They can be toys without a floor. And I think it's flat enough now. Um, I had already then pinned it, and then I turned it over and looked at it. It looked horrible. So I'm like, nah, that ain't going to work. I need to iron that bad baby. My baby. That bad baby. Yeah, so now we got an arm. Hopefully, hopefully we can get it to do. Right here. Nope. Right here. Right here. Yeah, this is what I need. Me.
how to donate to poor man sewing. Mash on poor man sewing. You come up here and you look for about. And there you can donate to poor man sewing. All donations is really appreciated. Thank you very much.